Hello, my name is Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you back to uh, my SketchUp cooking class here with the terrain model. This is part th three. I'm going to uh, continue on now. We've basically got everything set up here. We need to add materials. We need to add the uh, salt box house. The also add the uh, gazebo. So uh, I'm just going to go into my layers right now. And I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm just going to call this template. So I'm just going to select all of this part and do my entity info. Change that from layer 0 to template. And then I'm going to turn that layer off now. Turn on my house and my gazebo. And these are over here. So I'm just going to uh, select these two objects and just move them over here. First, I'll move the house. From that corner to that corner. And now I can move the gazebo. From this corner to that corner. If I was to add materials, we have to be a little bit careful here. I go to my vegetation. If I pick a material that I'd like to use for a ground cover, it does, it basically covers everything. So I don't want to actually do it this way. I need to click on my contour model, right click, edit group. And now that I'm editing the group, now I can go into this area and should be able to paint it. Little problem with my sidewalks. Um, I will fix those. Okay, to see if we've uh, accomplished to fix this. Okay, I think I've got that area fixed up now. I'm just going to change to another material. I'm just going to go up to asphalt and concrete. So I'll just make a concrete sidewalk. Just make this little step area around here out of concrete as well. Do my swimming pool. So area here. Now I need to work on my other little area for the swimming pool. So I'll just go into uh, stone. And I'll just pick uh, something like this for this area here. For the other area, I'll change it to a tile.
Now I have this one surface here that's in the way. I'm going to hide it so that I can finish the bottom. Then I'll unhide it. And I can go to my water. I can do this and edit the change the transparency. Maybe I can't change the transparency. Okay, I'll try a different water. Okay, I guess I have to use my translucence. It's kind of a watery. There we go. So that I can, again, make it a little bit lighter or darker. So it gives me a water look. And I have to do the same thing for the my little water feature here. I can hide this. So I can paint that to there. And this one here I can definitely do with my water because it doesn't matter whether I see inside or not. So I'll just click on oh, this water there. That's good enough. Okay, so now I've added my materials. Um, it's looking pretty good. Um, now I'm ready to do my smooth tool. So again, the smooth tool is uh, a little bit different in that it doesn't, you have to actually edit the object. So if I'm going to have to click on this first, one, two, and then now I can go into my smooth tool. With the smooth tool, it's going to give me my radius, sorry, smooth, and 30 feet is pretty big, so I'm going to cut that down to, say, 15 feet. And now I can go into this area, and I can start lifting up areas, maybe pushing some areas down a little bit. And the cool part is, is that even if it has a little bit of an effect on the sidewalk or any areas like that, you will notice that everything still maintains the materials. And so you can have your little ridges, a little bit of shape to it. Maybe that's a little bit too much. And if for some reason the sidewalk gets moved a bit, it's okay. So you can see that there is a little bit of rise in that. So that's your smooth tool. Don't go too extreme with this. You want it, you know, most places don't have really, really extreme things. This might even be a little bit too extreme. But I think we've got a pretty good idea here. I can uh, just quickly add some trees. Don't know if I like that one. Now that we're adding trees, it's going to start getting a little bit more just gets a little bit more hectic. So that's fine. I think you have the right idea. Again, with my materials, if I wanted to, I could make a flower bed here. I could add things to the porch, which, well, I have a desk, um, a chair here, but I could have hanging plants. I could have a little garden flowers here. I think that's basically a pretty good shape. So uh, enjoy, have some fun with it, and we'll see you soon.